All right, guys, so this video is about the uh, personality disorders. It's about a much shorter video than that uh, original one that we put out. Make sure that you understand all the different categories, the so cluster A, cluster B, um, and, cl and cluster C. Just put everything in those categories first and then start filling in the details as far as um, what each one means. Without a doubt, make sure you understand borderline personality disorder and make sure you understand schizoid versus the avoidant. That one seems to always come up on the exam. So make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, it does kind of let us know that uh, what we're doing is helpful. All right, guys, so here's the, uh, the personality ones. So here it goes. It says, a 28-year-old woman has an infection that resulted from, uh, resulted from self-inflicted wound to the forearm. Some of the staff feel like they have an emotional connection to her. Others, others describe her as a very troublesome patient. She's very impulsive with, with comments. She has a history of many psychiatric hospitalizations and a history of drug abuse. Which of the following is most likely psychiatric disorder? You can see what she's doing here. When she has you know, some staff feeling a connection, other very troublesome, they call that splitting, right? And we talked about this, that splitting will always be associated for all these step exams with borderline uh, personality, okay? And so that's going to be answer choice D. But when we look through these answer choices, remember, we got we got to know all these. Adjustment disorder is the stressor has to be within three months. And this is a very common one that you can do when people come in to, and the inpatient and stuff. Within three months, and it's just an over, overreaction to, to, you know, say a divorce or something like that, uh, they're just significantly impaired, but the stressor has to be within three months. Now, anxiety disorder, that's too much of a broad too much of a broad description there because there's, it's a broad category that actually has, uh, you can have separation anxiety, uh, you can be selectively mute, and you really don't have to, and GAD, generalized anxiety, you don't really have to know, you know, anxiety disorder per se is going to be your answer. It's probably going to be something more aligned generalized anxiety, and that one's going to be, you got to have at least, you know, six months of that, of, of that worry about future events that you don't understand why you're worrying, okay? And then bipolar, this is going to be a mood disorder, right? And that you can have, you have to have a, a period of, ele of an elevated mood or just under an elevated mood, whether it's uh, manic or hypomanic. Um, and then you would go back down into your, your depression uh, state. This is obviously is a very key one that they always ask on. Narcissistic is in the same category. It's a kind of a cluster B, and you got to know these, you got to know the categories for these, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And that's just going to be that inflated, uh, inflated self-esteem, uh, okay? And then here's the teaching point for this. Obsessive compulsive personality disorder versus, versus obsessive compulsive disorder. They both have that whole, you know, hoarding, um, the order, orderliness, you know, per se. You know, they look the same, but the difference is the person who's just OCD, they know it's ego, it's ego uh, dystonic, okay? It's ego dystonic, meaning that it's, it's unwanted, okay? It's like an unwanted, I don't know why I do it, un unwanted and it's seen as unhealthy to them. You know, they, 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 you know, they want to stop. It's just, they, I know this isn't good. Now, the person who is the obsessive compulsive personality disorder, this is the person that is ego syntonic, okay? I, they could ask a nice little question on that, ego syntonic, because everything they do is seemed as, it's, to them, it's all rational, okay? And in someone who's OCD, they understand the problem is, or they say, think of it like this, the problem is, yeah, the problem is, is, is me. But in, the, in someone who's got the personality disorder, the problem's not them, the problem's gonna be you, it's gonna be someone else, okay? They're, they're really big about pointing the finger and they're very good at projecting uh, onto other people, okay? And then these people can't, they have big time difficulty, can't uh, function, okay? But they like to throw that in there. Obsessive compulsive, ego dystonic. Obsessive compulsive personality disorder, ego syntonic, can function. Um, the problem isn't me, the problem is somebody else. Okay? This one says a 20 year old man is brought to the hospital for, evalu for evaluation from law enforcement while, while he is serving a 60 day sentence for armed robbery. The patient has an extensive legal history that involves several felonies that date back to when he was a youth. Upon interview, uh, he has lack of remorse for his violations. You assess that he does have capacity and, and start a medication for his mood symptoms, which the following personality disorders does he most likely exhibit? 
All right. Well, this guy this guy's kind of bad to the bone, and the bad to the bone ones here. Well, we, we have to differentiate between conduct, oppositional defiant, and antisocial. Okay, and here's how you do it. The oppositional defiant is just the kid. He's just the young kid in the classroom, and he's less than 18. Young kid, and he's just a little bit troublesome. Okay, but I mean, he may talk out of class and be kind of silly, but he but he's just you know kind of going against the rules a little bit. But not that you know he's he's not breaking the law. Now, if you're still less than 18 and you're going to be called a troublemaker, uh, this is where it gets into the conduct uh, disorder. Now, this is where it's the truancy. You know, they, they may hurt animals, um, but they're breaking the law. Okay, that's the key. They're breaking the law. This guy does not really break the law. This guy breaks the law and he's less than 18. And now when this guy turns 18 plus, he turns into antisocial personality disorder. Okay, he turns into antisocial. This guy's 20 years old, so he, he's not even consideration for these guys. He's over 18. You got to be jumping on antisocial personality. Now, the key to these whole these personality things, besides just knowing what they are, is that you have to know the categories. Okay, and you know if you just know two of the categories, and everything else will fall on the other one. So that'll make it a little bit easier for you. All right, cluster A, cluster B, and cluster C. Think of cluster A as those people. It's like, man, you know, I don't know if I really want to go out, you know, go out with you because uh, you're 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 a bit weird, okay? And this is the paranoids, the schizoids, and the uh, schizotypal, okay? Right? Paranoid, just like it sounds, distrusting. Schizoids, they avoid people and don't care. The schizotypal, this is kind of your magical thinking, you know, Harry Potter esque people. Your cluster B. Now these are the people that you just you know, you have trouble trusting, per se. This is going to be your antisocial guy. This is your borderline, all right? This is your uh, histrionic, you know, a little bit on the hypersexual side, and uh, the narcissistic uh, person. And then the cluster C, yeah, let's just put these in their own little deal. This is the avoidant, you know, this is the dependent personality, and then this is the OCD, okay? They fall in the cluster C. So if you know the first two, everything else falls here. Remember what I was saying. You better know the difference between avoidant and schizoid, right? Schizoids don't want to hang out, don't care. Avoidant, they want to hang out because they're afraid, but they're afraid of getting rejected. Okay. This one says, a uh, 27-year-old man comes to your primary care office for examination. He mentions that he's having difficulty meeting new people at his school because he feels inadequate and shy. He's always had difficulty socializing with people because he feels they will make fun of him. He is sensitive about being criticized. The most likely personality disorder is which of the following. So again, you have to differentiate between avoidant and schizoid. Schizoids avoid, they don't care. Avoidance do care. And from the looks of this guy, he's having difficulty, so he's trying, but he feels overly shy. And again, I think avoidant, I just give the guy's name, is Avery. He's the guy in the office. He wants to be social, but he just doesn't have the skills. Antisocial, cluster B, cluster B, we know these. Um, and schizotypal is cluster A. But you better, know, you, you better know this. I mean, this is like, tends to show up on pretty much everybody's exam. Okay? And this one says, a 54-year-old execu executive comes... Uh, comes into your office for routine physical examination. He's quite ir irritated that he has to wait in the reception area with others uh, since he's on time and a very busy man. He reports to the front office staff, do you understand the importance of my job and how I have to get back to work? Ask, uh, ask the patient to return to his seat. He is quite irritable and reports he will make sure he gives a low rating when, he, when, his, when his review online. Which of the following personality disorders is in the same cluster? So they're not asking what is this guy? Now we know this guy is the narcissistic, right? They asked which is in the same cluster. So this is this is classic of what the the step exams will do to you. It's never a simple give me the answer. It's give me I, like I'm expecting you to know the answer, and now we're going to ask you one extra step. So again, this goes back to cluster A, cluster B, cluster C, and let's go through these. Paranoid is going to be cluster A. Histrionic we said it was B. Uh, avoidant, we said was C, dependent was C, schizoid was A, and schizotypal was A as well. Now, if you don't have the, the clusters memorized, you know, again, paranoid, schizoid, schizotypal was A, 
B was antisocial, borderline histrionic, and narcissist, and C was avoidant, dependent, and OCD. If you don't have that memorized, you're not going to get this question right. Okay? You knew it was narcissistic, narcissist, you had to know that was B, and histrionic is the only one that's in there as well. And that's just a repeat. So you got to know those guys. Okay? Hope this was helpful.